If you have a 2022 F-150 and you're looking to put a lift kit or you're trying to find the biggest lift kit, then the beginning of this video is for you. 1000% I'm doing this for my Ford fans at home. And I don't think I ever actually finished a real video on this truck. I'd probably talked about it a little bit in one video, but I want you guys watching this at home to know that there's a couple of really nice trucks up here that I could make the thumbnail. And by no means am I saying that this one is not worthy of the thumbnail. I just, I, I like Chevys, I like GMCs, but I'm showing some love to my Ford people today specifically. So any of you sitting at home with a Ford and you guys are wanting to know what kind of setup you can do to your 2022 F-150, this video, this moment in the YouTube channel history is for you. So a couple, a couple months back, we did this 2022 F-150 XLT four wheel drive, and I just I absolutely love it. I love I love the new front ends on the F 150s. I love the way that this truck turned out, and I want you guys to know that there are lift kits and there are options available for your 2022 F 150. So anybody that's searching 2022 F 150 or 21 or even when the 23s start coming out, they should be the same fitment. So we went with a seven inch Beltec on this specifically for a couple different reasons. A lot of you are going to ask, what's the biggest lift kit that we can put on these new 2022 F 150s? I do know that Beltec makes a seven. I do think that Max Track makes a six or seven. I know that Rough Country makes a six and I know that FTS makes an eight. Now I've asked FTS multiple times, do you make a 10 inch? Are you gonna make a 10 inch? And one of the reasons that they have not made a 10 inch yet when FTS normally does make an eight and a 10 inch for the F-150s is there's something different about the, the steering in this truck versus or compared to the previous body style. Something about the suspension is different when you go to 10 inch, but I do know, I do know that FTS makes an eight inch lift for this truck they do make it with the coilovers as well and that is i actually have one on the uh on the schedule in a couple of months to do an eight inch on one of these body style trucks seven inch is going to be close enough so you guys can see what the fitment would be like on this seven inch beltec we have a uh, actually i do want to show you guys this beltec does have this like like grayish color lift kit which is kind of cool not a lot of companies do that and i actually i remember filming this truck now because it's got the the gray lift kit on it i forgot that this the lift kit's gray that's actually kind of cool seven inch beltec lift 24 by 14s the kg1 bounties black and milk love this kg1 wheel it's actually one of my favorites especially in black and milk we had to do the black spike lug nuts on it and then we've got a so this is this is kind of what we've been back and forth about how big of a tire can you fit on this new body style with the uh you know with the fender modification with the crash bars because a lot of you guys are going to see in the uh you know in forums and stuff that you read you know that you got to cut crash bars and all kinds of stuff like this now we did fit a little bit wider of a wheel and a decent sized tire on this than what most of you would want to do but we like to push the boundaries obviously so 24 by 14 with a 325 45 24 and depending on which website you look at it's gonna you know it's gonna run you about a 35 and a half by 13 is what that 325 is gonna end up being but the biggest thing is I want to show you guys the fender modification. In my opinion, you can fit a bigger wheel and tire on the new body style F-150s than the previous body style. Previous body styles are a little more closed in, in my opinion. You still have to cut the crash bars out of each one, right? But I do believe, you know, you do a little fender modification on the front, little fender modification on the back, clean it up, cover it up with some rubber. Uh, I do think that the fitment is a little bit better on these. Now, I do know that we had to do a decent size fender modification on this truck, but that is because obviously we're fitting a 14 wide on a seven inch lift. And actually, I think this truck's two wheel drive. Oh no, it is four wheel drive, sorry. Uh, for, for a split second, I, I was thinking in my mind, maybe I was wrong and it's two wheel drive. But 14 wides and essentially a 36 by 13 can fit on a seven inch lift. So I have this customer that's wanting to do an eight inch on 37s or 38s in a 14 wide and it's 100% doable. So we can do like a 37, 1450 on a 14 wide, like a Fury on an eight inch lift. I know that the, for whatever reason, and I know this to be true, I've seen it. I do know that the eight inch FTS is gonna sit at least an inch and a half to two inches taller than the seven inch Beltec. I just, I just know from experience that FTS always sits at a true height. So the eight inch on an FTS is probably gonna sit about two inches taller than what this Beltec lift sits at. And I, like I said, I just, I wanted to take the opportunity because I get so many comments all the time. Why don't you film more Fords? Why don't you film this? I actually had somebody talking about the Tacoma that was in the background somewhere. Um, I, I don't think it's up here now, but I got a blue silver out down here. Got an F-150 over here that we did today. Um, put some new tires on for this guy, 37s. Ridge grapplers on that one. Uh, this truck's been up here for a hot minute, and then uh, I guess I'll show you guys this one. Over here we did a, uh, what did we do to this truck? I know we put two tires on it, and then maybe some control arms or something, but you got this one on the 14 wides. Nice and wide stance, but wanted to make sure to show you guys this truck. 2022 F-150 four-wheel drive, seven inch lift, 24 14s. Is it doable? Yes, 100% it is doable. Stop playing, hit me up, let's build your dream truck. Damn, I love this truck. 
I love the headlights on this. It looks good, it really does. I love how the headlights on these trucks kind of curve together on the front, almost like a Raptor style. I really like that. Damn, camera's fogging up. Look at me, cut the grass yesterday. <laughs> cut the grass, got the grass all nice. Except for whatever's going on over here. I need to borrow a weed eater. I need a little bow tie this morning. Looking all, looking all cute. Look, I just want to throw this out there because I made that video of me dancing on the truck a while back uh, in the car wash. And not only did I put a little dent in the truck, like right here, somewhere if y'all can see it. See it right there? Yep, right there, yep, yep. I did that one. 100% the hood is nice and crippled right there too. Definitely, definitely dented the hood when I did that. I didn't think I did, but 100% I did. And I was kind of salty about it yesterday when I figured it out. <laughs> Ooh, hello beautiful. Hello, oh wait, I'm not even taking this truck today. What am I doing, what am I doing? Getting all, getting all excited. That truck is what we're doing today. This is what we're taking to Starbucks. Oh. So I got home yesterday and want the camera to focus. So I got home yesterday and changed the battery in the silver truck because the battery was dying every uh, couple of days, which is not good. This beautiful startup. Topped off the oil on it, you know, did a couple things. I need to clean this truck out really bad. Um, but I haven't been driving this one a lot, the silver truck. So it hasn't really been an issue. The white truck is our main focus today. The first part of this video obviously was for the people that, for, the, for my Ford people. The rest of the video, obviously, I like still filming videos, and I wanted the beginning of the video to be for, for those people, and the rest of the video to be for my subscribers. So on Sundays, Chick-fil-A is closed. So it's, I mean, it's Dunkin' Donuts or Starbucks, and I like Dunkin' Donuts avocado toast, but Starbucks has just been been the move lately, so that's what we're doing. A little bit of light in here, geez. I got the, got the Starbucks. She gets some kind of a matcha lemonade I don't even know what that is to be honest and then I get essentially a cup of milk with some chocolate and caramel and a splash of coffee on top is it like a sin to see me drinking Starbucks I feel like it's disrespectful to my fans at home to my subscribers at home to drink Starbucks in a video <laughs> so the goal today is to clean out the white truck. Now, I try and keep my trucks as clean as possible. If you know me personally, I do a very terrible job with that. I really do. And I'm really gonna be exposing myself a little bit in this video because of how bad my truck is right now, but we're gonna fix that today. Most of you know me for having the 2014 Silverado or that wide bow tie, which is most of what you guys see on the channel or on Instagram, but I also have this 2003 1500 extended cab i call this one the skinny bow tie and i've got the the cleared headlights on the front the uh the chrome grill i put some 20 inch tahoe wheels on it that are black on the front and chrome in the back because of how bad the uh how bad the brake dust is on those but the goal like i said the goal today is to clean the truck out and it's pretty freaking bad i drive this one every single day so i just accumulate a lot of stuff and a lot of crap and i mean i've got anything for it coat hangers to shovels, wheel spacers, oil, Yeti cooler, a T, I have a TV back here that my dad gave me to, to destroy in a video. I've got a snap-on jack, I've got some, some oil, a case of water, I've got some Converse shoes in there that probably need to just get thrown away. I mean, I got a lot of stuff. And then you, you know, you move into the, yeah, this is rough. This, this is rough. I've got Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, Taco Bell, chocolate milk. I've got chargers. I've got hat. I've got a million hats in here. I got Guggen Bates. I got my Starlight Headliner kit that needs to go in. I've got Christmas ornaments. I got what is that? Peach rings over there. I got a box for my Nikes that need to get put away. Um, medicine that's probably bad. Tools, trash bags, hoodies, camera equipment. I've got my other uh, my other Forgiato caps in here. It's just this whole freaking, what is that in there? My wheel lock for my lugs, camera bags, 
it's bad shoes jackets tools I mean it's, it's it's rough in here but the goal today obviously is to get it cleaned out to where it's uh, doesn't it doesn't look like this that's the goal I also have these back here that I need to do something with a set of 17 inch Chevy stocks there 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 is actually a truck in my neighborhood with this exact wheel on it that's exactly like mine which it doesn't look bad but I just I like the 20s on here but when I wear these 20s out um, the the ridge grapplers I might sell those I think we have a used set of 17s downstairs, so I might I might let these go to one of y'all for cheap, clean them up a little bit, let you guys have the 20 inch stocks, and then I'll put the 17s on the truck. Might lift it a little more, put that one and a half inch max track spring, spring on the front, give me a four and a half inch lift in the front, since I've already got three inch spindles, give me a little pre-runner look going on. Yes, sir. Definitely, definitely better than it was. I got all the clothes out of here. Left some Guggen baits in there because you never know when you're when you're gonna have to rip a couple lips. Got everything cleaned out. The mat back here is actually in the back of the truck. It's been back there for a long time. And I just obviously left a couple of things in here. What is it interesting to you guys to know what's inside Alex's truck? You guys see me make these videos all the time. Is it interesting to see what's in Alex's truck? I got five or six hats up here. This I'm gonna put on my desk, a little, little snap-on cup and some highlighters. I got that side cleaned out, vacuumed. Left a couple things back here, some tools. Obviously, never know when you're gonna need those. Uh, strapped brake cleaner trash bags you know you know you never know a couple zip ties here and there some 3d40 left a couple things in here but the the mission of the day was to get the uh, the inside cleaned out and I definitely feel like I've uh, done a decent enough job I eventually want to turn this truck into a pre-runner is really what I want to do so my, my goal was hitting the latch want to make sure it's down all the way my goal long term because this truck has a pretty nasty little oil leak going on and the inside the obviously the headlighter is coming down it's got dents and dings everywhere the the back half of the quarter panel is kind of smashed in back there just everything about this truck isn't the the best candidate candidate for a daily driver even though i do daily drive the hell out of this thing at some point i would love to be able to purchase another truck and actually turn this into a pre-runner build i want to get the the one piece fender and hood for the front i want to get the uh, the bulged fenders for the back like a six inch and uh, definitely i want to turn it into to a pre-runner through the uh all the uh the suspension in the front i know it's expensive which obviously would would be why it's not like a like an overnight kind of deal but would be kind of a fun project that i haven't seen a lot of people do to build a pre-runner so eventually i think that's the goal for this truck but mission accomplished for the day it's too damn hot to be washing this thing even though i might wash it later and show you guys at least get the wheels cleaned up maybe because the wheels look kind of nasty so mission accomplished <laughs> Thank you.